In this episode, we focus on volunteering for veterans. This year, we visited with people who are part of a group that volunteer about 70,000 hours each year, assisting veterans at the VA hospital in Washington, D.C. My name is Pat Craig, and I am the chairperson of the Veterans Mental Health Advisory Council at the Washington, D.C. VA Medical Center. And we are a 15-member council, and we're all volunteers. So, you know, the reason we volunteer is because we want to be able to give back to other veterans what was given to us, you know, in, type, in terms of treatment here and patient care. So, you know, what we do is we make sure that veterans are getting the kind of care that they they are supposed to get. We also volunteer, you know, with, with voluntary services on um, on uh, the uh, Winter Haven, you know, day in January. And what we do there is we uh, give out, you know, items to homeless veterans and at risk for homeless veterans. And we have all sorts of, you know, uh, volunteers to come in that day. We last time, last January, we had about 456 volunteers to come in, and we served 841 homeless veterans or at risk for homeless veterans. So I volunteer in order to give back to our veteran community community, male, females, LGBT, you know, anyone that has served in the military. Help a veteran and become part of Volunteer Corps at the VA hospital. Check out Volunteer Paying Forward by helping veterans 365 days per year. Sign up and volunteer at va.gov. You will discover that many healthcare facilities specifically care for our U.S. military veterans. In fact, the Veterans Health Administration has more than 1,200 healthcare facilities, as many as 172 medical centers, and at least 1,000 outpatient centers. Veterans for Warriors, which is a 24 hour uh, service to veterans. Uh, if they just feel like they need to talk, sometimes we have sleep, you know, sleeping issues. So, Maybe we just need to talk to someone and work out what's going on on our mind. Vets for uh, Warriors is the number that, you know, you can call in order to do that. So that's why I volunteer, you know, to be able to give back to veterans what was given to me. All of which help the 9 million veterans enroll in the VA health care program. Not only is it Valentine's Day, this is also the national salute to patient veterans. So, you know, we're not only, you know, serving the veterans that are walk-in. We have, you know, a unit where we have veterans that are residents here. So we're walking around and giving them, you know, gifts and saying, hello, how are you? We appreciate you. But this is also Random Acts of Kindness Day that we're celebrating. Actually, the day is on the 7th. 17th, which is a Saturday but we're going to we're celebrating it today so what we're doing is we're asking people to walk around be very observant of what's going on and if they find somebody doing something good to give them a card that we have pre-made up and then they can come back to one of the tables and redeem it for a gift the number of facilities and centers is large so they are often in need of a little extra help especially when it comes to comforting those who encounter common ailments with them that they're not alone what they will do is they'll send you some information some uh, outreach material and you can give that out to veterans you can take it to the hospitals you can take it to the vet centers you can take it to you know wherever there are veterans homeless veterans and give them this this number or give them whatever outreach material that you have from the vets for warriors and they will you know uh, be able to call this number anytime they want to just to more complex sickness. Don't know how to help? Well, the Veterans Health Administration offers a way. You can show your appreciation by participating in volunteer activities such as ward visits, recreation activities, recognition programs, and so much more.